So I'm going to I'm going to take some questions. I think there are mics. You can come up to the mics. <clears throat> First, hi. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm very interested in the issue of tribalism and terror. Just today, I ran into an article referencing uh, Truman's daughter Margaret's book, uh, disclosing that the um, that um, the uh, Stern gang uh, sent mail bombs to Truman uh, in '47. And we know that when, when I think, I don't, I can't remember which group blew up the King David Hotel, but Jews were uh, amongst the dead uh, involved in that necessary state craft, what ultimately became that. So you see this long history of, of not only the United States, but Israel utilizing uh, terrorism that includes potentially the death of its own tribe to advance its own uh, geopolitical cause all the way up into the 21st century, including September 11th and that whole mess that I would tell people to look at uh, Alan Sobrowski, the Jewish uh, courageous Marine who's exposed the Zionist role in that. So I would ask you, at what point does the Jewish diaspora, do we have to have the ethical courage, I'm a Jewish American, to point out that, especially in America, both the countries that operate in our name have used terrorism way too long, including against its own citizens, to uh, project power at home and abroad. When are we going to stand up and be ethical Jews and Americans? Well, <clears throat> look, I don't think that as a matter of policy that the United States or Israel engage in acts of terror. You know, terror is you target deliberately civilians for an express political purpose. You know, the idea that Israel had something to do with 9-11 is, is just outrageous. They had nothing to do with it. Tell that to the Marine. Tell that to the Marine, Alan Sobrowski. Look him up. Jewish American right Marine. You know what, you can make up whatever you want to. I'm a big believer, well, I'm a big believer, as Patrick, Daniel Patrick Moynihan used to say, everybody's entitled to their own opinions, they're just not entitled to their own facts. <laughs> so, Take your own advice, Dennis. We'll look at September. Okay, you know what? I will accept the question. As, as, you, as you said, uh, a lie that's not challenged can become the, the truth. Is there anything, and what would it be? that Americans that are taxpayers can do to influence on, the United States at the United you Nations for the constant Foster. false uh, things that are voted on against Israel, human rights, and, and that whole agenda. Thank you. You know, 